Yo, hello, hello. Welcome to the elephant in the room. My name is Aaron and I'm in beautiful sunny Spain right now and want to show you something interesting today. So if we want to have a say in our society, if we want to have a better world, then I think we should take care of people, right? Because the saner the people are, the saner our society is. But I feel like many people don't understand this point. Like, they talk about the problems that we have nowadays um, as somehow isolated from other problems, you know? People talk about the attention economy, where like companies want as much attention as possible from you, they want to collect as much data as possible from you, to show you personalized ads, to make you consume more. And then other people talk about um, climate change, you know. We need to stop emitting um, CO2, we need to stop burning fossil fuels and we need to invest more into renewable energies. And then other people, they talk about plastic pollution. For example, I watched a documentary last night and it was about how companies produce as much single-use plastic as possible because they make a profit out of it. And then the solution is like we need to stop these companies from producing that much or we need to make them um, responsible for their pollution that they create. And also we should start to reduce the use of single plastic and maybe we should get into a zero waste economy. That's what they're talking about. But I feel like they are not dealing with the core problem here because all they talk about is yeah we have this climate change problem here we have this pollution problem there and we have the loss of biodiversity here and here some social inequality there but it's not that they are like isolated from each other they are all like interconnected and the connection that many people don't get is our trade-based society this is really the core problem, the elephant in the room, that I want to make people aware of. So I just want to show you that there is a building right here that is completely empty, like nobody is living there. And I'm in a city where there's not only this building completely empty, but there are tens of them, hundreds of them. And I want to show that to you now. I think you can clearly see that these apartments are completely empty and they are empty for like nine months of the year. They are used in June, July and August. That's the tourist season here. So I hope you make the connection between our trade-based society where people have to slave away in order to live somewhere, live in a, an apartment like this 
and our world problems because people don't have the motivation, don't have the time, don't have the energy to care about the world if they have to slave away in a job to yeah, kind of make a living on this planet. So if we want to have a saner world we need to provide people with trade-free access to these accommodations rather than forcing them to slave away in a job, in a mostly useless or boring or monotonous job. And this is something that nobody talks about. So I really hope I can make you aware of this. And I will show you some more apartment because it's just insane. It's beyond ridiculous how, yeah, retarded our society is. We force people to make a living on this planet, whereas we have an abundance of apartments. We can take care of everybody on this planet. But we don't do so because of our trade-based society. So here you can see even more empty apartments and I, as a human being, can only access them if I slave away in a job like I did in Leipzig where I was unpacking stuff, unwrapping it and putting it into a box. To remember these are fully equipped apartments with a bed inside with a shower or bathroom and with the kitchen so basically everything that a human being needs but no we can just leave them empty let's waste them let's nobody access them only for three months in summer and that's it just to make a huge profit to me this society is so weird because we could make it so easy yet we complicate it so much you might say, oh no, we cannot give people trade-free access to accommodation. But I'm like, why not? Like, why can't we just do that? You might say, well, people would destroy these apartments or abuse them. But I mean, what is the incentive? If I would be able to live in one of these apartments, I won't destroy it, of course. I would not abuse it because what would be the incentive? I also take care of my things. And what is my incentive to like abuse my laptop for example or the stuff that I have so why would there be an incentive to destroy this apartment I don't see this as an argument but then you might say well we need rules and laws and regulations and people should pay for these apartments but I'm like what the fuck why why do we have to because we have an abundance of apartments can't you see that it is just insanely ridiculous I mean look at this it is so weird so to me it's even like how can I explain that to people because it is so obvious and so simple but people just complicate it so much because of our trade-based society you would give people access to what they need as trade-free like these apartments for example there wouldn't be an incentive to steal or to lie or to cheat or at least not as much and if you educate them they will behave saner that's the thing as a highlight I can show you the building complex where I'm staying right now and it's the same story these apartments are empty for nine months of the year and used for only three months So I hope you can make the connection between our fucked up trade-based society and the world problems that we have. And if we want to take care of the environment, if we want to take care of this planet, then we should take care of people. That was it from here. See you then in the next video. And as always, take care.